are fine and safe today we can continue chapter 6 squares and square root we can do textbook exercise 6.3 first question what would be the possible ones digit of the square root of each of the following first number 9801 You should check the ending digit of each numbers. See here, ending digit is one. Then you should think which all numbers we are multiplying to get one. That is one into one is equal to one. Then next one is nine into nine is equal to eighty. So one digit here one and here also one. Only two numbers one nine nine. So here possible one one digit of this number square root of this number is one or nine. Understood. Next question ninety nine thousand eight hundred fifty six. Here also you should check the ending digit that is ones place digit. Here ones place digit is six. So how we get six in ones place square root of uh, the number? That is six into six is equal to thirty six. Here also ending digit is six. Then four into four also sixteen. That square number also ending digit is six. So only two possibilities possible ones. Digit that is six and four. So here we can write six and or four. The square root of ninety nine thousand eight hundred and fifty six ones digit should be four or six. Next one. This one also ending digit is one. Same with one or nine. The last question also ending digit five. So five into five is equal to twenty five. Only one possibility. So five. You can write here five. Hope it is clear. Second question. Without doing any calculation, find the numbers which are surely not perfect squares. If the number is a perfect square. The ending digit should be one zero one three one four five six or five. You, as you learned already, the ending digit, the ones digit should be zero one four five six or nine. We can check each numbers ones place unit place. See here three only. Obviously, this is not a perfect square. The next one, two hundred fifty-seven. Ending digit is seven, so this is also not a perfect square. Then next one is four hundred eight. Ending digit is eight, so this is not a perfect square. Last one, four hundred forty-one. Ending digit is one, so four hundred forty-one is a perfect square. Twenty-one into twenty-one is four hundred forty-one, so this is a perfect square so a number is a perfect square then the unit place will be 0 1 4 5 6 or 9 and one more thing remember zero should be even also hope it is clear third question find the square root of 100 and 169 by the method of repeated subtraction we discussed already do you remember the sum of first n odd natural numbers is n square okay every square number can be expressed as the sum of first n odd successive natural numbers starting from 1 okay now we can do 100 first one is 100 So first n odd natural number is one. Next successive one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, 
30, 50, 70, like this it will continue. Okay, so step one. We discussed already one or two questions we did already. So 100, first step. Number one I am giving, first step, step one. That is 100 minus first odd number. That is one. That is 100 minus one is 99. Okay, then second step. 99. 99 minus second odd natural number is 3. That is 96. 99 minus 3 is 96. Then third step. 96 minus third odd natural number is 5. 96 minus 5 is 91. Then you can continue like this. 91 minus 7. That is 84. Then fifth step. 84 minus 9. That is 75. Then sixth step. 75 minus 11. That is 64. Then seventh step. 64 minus 13. Next or natural number. It's equal to 51. 51. Then 8th step. 51 minus 50, 13. Next or natural number is 15 only. 51 minus 15. It's equal to 36 then ninth step 36 minus 17 is equal to 19 36 minus 17 is 19 then 10th step 19 minus next odd natural number is 19 only so 19 minus 19 is equal to 0. So 10th step only we got 0. So the square root of 100 is 10. Okay, square root of 100 is equal to 10. Next one, 169. 169 also same way we can do. First step 1. 169 minus 1. One is the first odd natural number. It's 168. Second step. 168 minus 3. It is 165. Then third step. 165 minus 5. 135. 160. Step 4. 160 minus 7. That is 153. Okay. Fifth step. 153 minus 9. That is 144. Then sixth step. 144 minus 11. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Next one is 11. So 133. Then seventh step. 133 minus 11 after that 13. So 120. Seventh step we got 120. Then eighth step. 120 minus 15. That is 105. Ninth step. 105 minus 17. 15 after that 17 only. So equal to 88. 88. Then 10th step. 88 minus 17 after that 19. Okay. 
So 9, then 7 minus 1, 6, 69. Okay, the 11th step, 69 minus 21. 90, after that, after uh, next order number is 21. So 9 minus 1, 8, 6 minus 2, 4, 48. Then, 12th step, 48 minus 23. Okay, 8 minus 3, 5, or minus 2, 2. Okay, 25. Then, 13th step. 25 minus, next odd number is 25 only. So, 25 minus 25 is equal to 0. So, now we got 0. Which step? 13th step we got 0. So, square root of 169 is 13. Okay, square root of 169 is is equal to 13. 13 into 13 is equal to 169. Hope it is clear. Next class we can continue. Practice well. Thank you.